too tight now? No, I think it's good. The line will not pull this disconnected. Well, anytime you're scuba diving, it's dangerous, especially uh, at depth. We're going to be dealing with currents. We're going to be dealing uh, in, in environments that will be uh, significant entanglement hazards. You know, ultimately, death is the next breath away. Be calm. Don't panic. Uh, we're very, very proud of BCI, and we're proud of the, the crime, our crime scene capabilities. We will put up, compare BCI crime scene with any other agency in the world. But up till now, we were limited to the water's edge. There's just been a need over the years for small agencies that don't have access to any way of recovering evidence from underneath the water. Criminals are smart. Sisters with us too, huh? They like to get rid of that evidence, and water is a great way to do that. We want to add the capability uh, to follow that evidence into the water. Agencies do need us. You know, it's it's a combination of a qualified diver and a crime scene investigator. We want to be able to do this in-house, and in the past, we've had to rely on trying to find divers. We want to be able to do this when anybody goes in the water, that they're operating the BCI standards, that standard of excellence. Welcome to White Star Quarry. This is where we're going to have our training mission today. The evidence has already been deposited in the quarry. There are 30 plus pieces of evidence in here. All right, I'm not going to speak as to what evidence is out here, I thought you'd hide something like in the Frito truck or something, Ed. <laughs> make, make entry. It's already on. We have folks on this team uh, that uh, have extensive diving experience. We've got uh, two instructor level uh, divers. We've got two dive masters, a representative from the EPA on the, on the team to uh, deal with the water contamination issues and those sorts of issues that we, we might encounter. Something like this that's multi-agency, multiple teammates to it. Everybody brings a little something to the table. Once again, we bring the environmental component to the table. Perfect, perfect shared services. Uh, we have, of course, crime scene agents uh, themselves on the team. Uh, so we've got a lot of, uh, we've got a variety of talents and uh, that we're gonna be using them all. It's a pretty tight group and, and they've learned to recognize, you know, signs and signals in each other above water and below water. How deep you think that is, Ken? You know, we're not just gonna do it, you know, just a normal way. We're gonna do it over the top and get the best of equipment. We have the best divers, the most experienced crime scene investigators. So our mission is to collect evidence that's been underwater for quite some time. Evidence where an informant has informed a police department that there's some type of evidence, maybe a homicide case. We'll be trained to recover everything from a small shell casing all the way up to a car. We're getting the repetition uh, that's necessary to, uh, to uh, perfect any skills and making sure that uh, all these divers, no matter who's in the water, will be able to accomplish that mission and accomplish the mission safely. Hold on. I got a red tip on the Yes. It's a 50 caliber Sabu. Okay, you got about three more feet. Okay, I'll turn back. We're hoping to be able to uh, replicate yes. Uh, in part, uh, what the FBI technical dive team does, what they have. And that's it. We're going to bring some very, very unique capabilities to the underwater evidence collection in Ohio. It just gives us one more avenue that we're able to help other law enforcement agencies get the evidence that they need. We serve with this dive team 88 counties. So we will be serving whatever county will call us, just as if there's a murder or there's a rape. There's a serious crime, we respond to that crime scene. We don't care where it is. Same way with this dive team. Now we will be able to complement what we do um, for the normal crime scene to extend that if, if there's something underwater or we think there might be something underwater. Diver needs to go southwest about eight to 10 feet. That could be close to where the plane is. The personal satisfaction is, is bringing an additional level of excellence to the agency. It's a, it's a level that we didn't have previously. Uh, it was an obvious hole in our ability to, to do the complete crime scene. It's going to be good, and, and we're going to be proud of it, and we're going to do uh, some incredible things on a number of cases, including homicides and all the other most serious cases that you can bring into a courtroom. When these crime scene agents and when these divers get up on the witness stand, I believe that you're going to uh, see the utmost professionalism that will make a difference in that courtroom. And when we make a difference in the courtroom, uh, we make the people of the state of Ohio safer.